Hi Bay, it's me, Bay Lestray, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Today we are going to be playing Animal Crossing, introducing two new villagers to Bayland. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Hi Bay. All right. So before we get started, of course, we have to talk to our favorite villager, Mac. That's just the way it goes. And don't mind this Taylor Swift build because it is gone now. We are going to check on Barold. Barold is the first new villager here on Bayland. He is going to be the museum manager. That's why we're moving him right next to the museum, just to make sure he has it all under control. And I'm happy Barold gets to move next to the museum so this area can start being filled with villagers. And our next villager is Ali. And Ali is an alligator, and as soon as I saw her, she was obviously on my dreamy list. She is just so perfect. And I'm going to move Ali to the beach because her bamboo house really just belongs on a beach and it doesn't belong anywhere else on Bayland. So, Ali is going to be our manager here on Bayland. The only people that she's not managing is me and Matt, but she's definitely Barold's manager, so Barold better act right because she's not playing any games. We're just giving Barrel's house a little bit of decoration. I see his house as an extension of the museum. So once you are done visiting the museum, you can walk over to Barrel's house and just view the cute little train set that I'm placing because I wanted to feel, like I said, part of the museum exhibit. And he is going to have the fiercest house here on the island. I'm just kidding, I'm just saying that. But here I am adding little cobblestone pathing. I feel like most of my pathing in Bayland is cobblestone pathing, but I am soon going to be trying and adding a full on path to Bayland. So I'm excited to see what it's going to look like once that is done at the main part of Bayland. I have so many builds for Bayland that I have planned and I can't wait for everyone to see them. This is just a little bit of decorating. I wouldn't consider me decorating their houses a full on build, but I am using my creativity and making Barold a little hipster garden because I feel like Barold is kind of a little hipstery and he would have a full on garden in his house. And that's also why he has the clay furnace because he is also very into making ceramics. He's just that kind of girl and I have to make sure that it looks correct before I go any further because I want Barrel's house to really be a vibe. And because like I said, Barrel is a hipster, of course he's gonna have a bike. He is a lazy villager. He's not gonna be riding his bike, but he's such a hipster, he's going to have a bike anyways even though he does not use it. And me, the queen of decorating with flowers now, I am adding flowers to the area. I just think the flowers attract villagers to the area so they can water them. I don't know if it's true or not, but that's what I think and I'm sticking to it. So I'm adding flowers so villagers can come to the area. And I think me adding this pink flower really just brought the whole build together. And I was like, Beryl needs more pink because he is just that kind of girl. And I love Beryl's build. Like it's honestly one of my favorite little builds. Like it's just right next to the museum. It's his little house and he's happy with it. I know he is like, he would not even complain. He is just a grateful little bear. And here we are now at Allie's house. We are gonna start the decoration. We are not playing around. We are going to get right into it. And we are just building a little paradise for Ali, a little private beach. I mean, she lives here on the beach. She is the manager of the beach. At least we can give her a little bit of privacy. I don't think anybody comes to this beach. Originally, this was supposed to be the sad boy beach, but now it's Ali's beach because I wanted to move stitches into this area, but I felt like if I move stitches into this area, it would just to be male dominated because Mac lives in this area. I live in this area. And if Stitches lived in this area, it would just be too male dominated. So I moved Allie in and I think she's a perfect fit. And all the managers are in the same spot. We are all running Bayland together. We are making things happen. And of course I'm using my cobblestone little pathway 
has a signature mark. I have so many of these little custom designer cobblestones. And of course, Allie had to get her own. And I found these cute little like sand decorations. I just put in sand and those came up and I thought they were so cute. And I had to get them. And Ali's build was really fast and easy because I knew I wasn't putting too much pressure on these builds. I was just decorating their houses to make sure it has a little personality. And it is acceptable for Dayland. So now that it is, I'm just going to visit Ali. I'm going to give Ali some custom Bayland gear. I am wearing the outfit of a manager and she is also wearing an outfit of a manager we are officially a crew and of course i had to give mac one i didn't have another black one but of course because he's mac he gets a special one i wasn't going to give it to ali and he gets a yellow one so we are officially going to be running bayland we are going to make things happen and i will say it one more time we are the future of animal crossing that is it for this video. We have met the new villagers. We have Beryl. We have Ali. Which one is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments down below. And if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. And of course, I want to thank everybody for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that other YouTube stuff. So, bye bay. Hi, babe.